March 20th is typically the vernal equinox public holiday in Japan, a celebration of Shintoism and spirituality. Though announced at one point to be a non-religious holiday for the separation of church and state, many people may use this public holiday to practice at public shrines, to perform ceremonial rites and to spend the day with loved ones. Known to many in the Western world as the Spring Equinox, this was supposed to be a day of family, of love and of celebration. However, March 20th in 1995 in Tokyo, Japan was to be anything other than a celebration of love and of life. As millions of people piled onto one of the busiest underground railroad systems on this planet, Little did these innocent bystanders know that there was an apocalyptic doomsday cult on board, ready to carry out five organised attacks across three separate subway lines. As devout and faithful members coordinated themselves to carry out these attacks, the leader of this group stayed back at headquarters, perhaps not willing to carry out his own orders. The release of five bags of sarin gas, also known as liquid nerve agent, would cause temporary and permanent blindness, vomiting, and in some cases, paralysis. This was the single worst domestic terror attack ever to be carried out on Japanese soil. The attack would result in the death of 13 people and the injury of 5,800 others. And the evil mastermind behind these attacks? The person responsible for giving the orders? Chizuo Matsumoto going by the name Shoko Asahara at this point, leader and founder of the group Om Shin Rikyo. Om Shin Rikyo, which can be translated to Supreme Truth, had extremist and fringe beliefs that continued to grow and grow, and Shoko Asahara would be responsible for the deaths of some of his followers, for the assassination of innocent families, and for the deaths of many more that we have not even mentioned in this video. On February the 27th, 2004, 18 years ago to this date, Shoko Asahara, along with other devout followers of his, were sentenced to death. And in only 2018, Shoko Asahara was legally executed for his crimes. This was only four years ago. We must continue to shed light on these crimes and to talk about the symptoms and signs of cults and high demand groups so that history is not allowed to repeat itself. I'm your speaker Casey, host of the Cult Vault podcast.